What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the certifiably suave Doctor Disaster, and we know that Doctor Who has lost viewership over the past few years, and we know that this new season has not started off well for the show, but how bad is it? It's bad. It's so bad. There's blood everywhere. It's so bad! Shooty Gatwa, in a recent interview, said he feels sad for fans who have turned away from the show over someone's appearance or race. But that's just a straw man, of course. He's pity farming, trying to get you to feel bad for him. In actuality, the show is just damned awful, doing stupid shit ranging from adding musical numbers to the show to poo-poo and booger jokes. Well, I think the true reason that Shooty is sad is because the show is hemorrhaging viewers. They lost over 2 million people since Christmas. It's funny to me though, because I believe they truly thought this franchise was going to be a gold mine for them. This is no mine. It's a tomb. Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and also, follow me over on Twitter where my handle is DrDisaster1. But we're gonna read about this massive drop off in TV ratings from this article coming to us from the site Cosmic Book News. Now, after Shooty Gatwa told Doctor Who's pre-built audience that if they don't like the progressive direction of the show, they should go out and touch grass, after articles like this came out saying the show was no longer made for straight white males, after Russell T. Davies and Jinx Monsoon both made fun of people who don't like the current direction of the show in the media, well, here is the fallout. Woke Doctor Who Shooty Gatwa loses over 2 million viewers, significantly down from the recent Christmas special and 60th anniversary episodes. Where am I? The pit of despair. The Woke Doctor Who reboot, led by Shooty Gatwa and Russell T. Davies, has lost over 2 million viewers according to the UK overnight rating system as the show continues its nosedive from the Christmas special and the three 60th anniversary specials that aired in 2023, as well as the downfall of the Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker era. Doctor Who Series 14 debuted the first two episodes on Saturday, May 11th, with the first episode, Space Babies, bringing in 2.6 million viewers. However, 200,000 of the fans didn't stick around for the second episode, The Devil's Chord, as only 2.4 million viewers tuned in. The numbers are significantly down from the 2023 Christmas special, already the lowest rated Doctor Who Christmas special of 4.73 million viewers. So, the numbers for the first two episodes of the show are down in comparison to the Christmas special from several months ago, which was already the lowest rated Christmas special in Doctor Who history. That's not good news. That's not good news at all. The numbers are also down a lot from the first 2023 special featuring the return of David Tennant that drew in 5.08 million viewers, with the three specials the lowest rated of Tennant's career. So basically, none of the shit that Disney-fied version of Doctor Who has put out has been doing well, and we know that the Disney Plus numbers were no good because they didn't even rate high enough to show up on the Nielsen or Samba top charts. That'll be the same with these new episodes. Disney will never tell us exactly how bad the numbers are, but the fact that they aren't touting them and screaming these numbers from the rooftops and showing us what they look like should tell you all you need to know. 
but I can hear a lot of you going, well, doctor, a lot of these mainstream media types have been talking about the BBC iPlayer and how actually the reason that these new episodes have got such small ratings is simply because people were clearly using the iPlayer streaming service, which isn't factored in to the overnight ratings. Well, this article covers that as well. The article says, It is worth mentioning that in the UK, Doctor Who premiered at midnight on the BBC iPlayer streaming service, which is not factored into the above numbers, so that could account for some of the drop. However, according to a report from July of 2023, BBC iPlayer makes up for only 15% of viewing in the UK and doesn't seem to be growing significantly. So regardless, the above numbers are still really low. Also, again, we see a drop of 200,000 viewers from the first to the second episode, so it's not like those 200,000 fans turned on BBC iPlayer to watch the second episode instead of simply watching the same channel they have been watching on TV. The article then concludes by saying, The drop in ratings follows Shooty Gatwa telling fans not to watch the show. We have an accord. I feel like anyone that has a problem with someone who's not a straight white man playing this character, you're not really truly a fan of the show you've not been watching because the show is about regeneration and the doctor is an alien, why would they only choose to be this sort of person, he told Variety. Don't watch, turn off the TV, go and touch grass, please, for God's sake. Well, that's a straw man, my dude. The fact that you're a black guy doesn't turn people off from the show. Actually, I personally have no problem with the doctor regenerating into a black person. After all, the doctor has had different hair colors, so why not skin? No, the problem is that this version of the Doctor is unrecognizable, and the writing is absolutely atrocious. It doesn't seem like Shooty is playing the Doctor at all. It just seems like it's Shooty on the screen being himself. Based on what I've seen of him in interviews, he's not acting when he's on the screen. He's just being Shooty Gatwa. Well, this show is made for people who just want to own normal, regular people. It is made for contrarian and, by definition, there just aren't that many of them around. That is why you fail. But I'm going to leave it there. Doctor Who is flailing, but a new episode is about to drop. I'll be curious to see how it goes, especially with Stephen Moffat coming back to write this singular episode. But let me know in the comments what you think about all this. How much further do you think this viewership will fall? Drop your thoughts down below and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.